On this episode of Music Land in a Lincoln, our special guest is musician and podcaster Brad Cox. Brad. Hey! How are you? Very good. How are you doing? Good to see you. D balloons? Is there going to be a publisher's clearinghouse <laughs> check? Or? You just won! Yeah. Congratulations! Well, fantastic! You've won a free ride in a Lincoln. Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, I have. I've seen the episodes, but to see it in real life is a whole other thing. This is a 1990 Lincoln Town Car left to me by my great uncle, buddy John Sansone. He was a big fan of music, so we're going to use it to drive around town and talk to local musicians and people in the music industry. I'm Larry Noto, and this is Music Land in a Lincoln. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, I appreciate it. This yeah. is fantastic. So this is a different from you because you are normally the one doing the interview. It is, and uh, this is a nice uh, refreshing break from that, to be honest. So tell me about the podcast, Mouthful of Graffiti. Yeah, I, I started it back in June. Oh, okay. Is that new? Yeah, and um, it's already up to about 43 episodes. Wow. And it's just, it's a lot of How many more. do you do, how often do you do it? I was doing three a week, and I realized that that's just not sustainable, so now I'm just trying to do one a week. I think that's enough. Yeah, that, I mean, even that is a lot. Yeah. So, Mouthful of Graffiti, or MOG. Mm-hmm. So, where did the name come from? Uh, it's actually one of the We Love the Underground albums. It was the second album, and uh, I just thought it was a really cool... You know, everybody's got these these social media walls and these presences, and they all have something to say, and they're all splattering it on these walls. So I just thought it was just kind of a, a topical kind of name and, you know, something that would work for the, the podcast as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, what inspired you to start this podcast? Lisa. But really? Actually, it really wasn't your, Lisa. Your wife? She's the one who pushed me into doing it, but there was this guy, uh, Rich Bennett, at Hartford County Living. Yes, yes. And, uh, I just did his podcast. Did you really? Yes. So he was like, hey, man, if you ever want to do a podcast, I'll help you edit it down and all that. And I'm like, all right. But I, I really didn't think much of it. And then I told Lisa when I got home, and she's like, you should totally do a podcast. I'm like, I'm not doing a podcast. <laughs> and she's like, you're doing a podcast. You'd be great at it. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't think I will be. But anyway, I, I ended up going out and getting the gear and doing the podcast. What have, yeah. what have been some ones that surprised you? What surprised you so far? I think it's usually the guests that I, I wasn't, I didn't know prior to coming on. Right. Because that, that requires, for one, you have to do a lot more research. You do it's some a, prep work. You do, yeah. Yeah. It's not just compiling your thoughts, but then it's also like, are we going to gel? Is there going to be like a simpatico kind of like conversation? And Matt Keller was one that kind of surprised me because we ended up, you know, having a really great interview, but I, I didn't know him from anybody. Right. So... And the really cool thing about the podcast is, is everybody seems to be leaving the ego at the door. Right. They're just okay. coming in. They're being cool. They're being down to earth. Nobody's being like a, a total showboat about it. You know, they're just being real people, and it's it's very cool. And you're talking about music, life, everything, right? I We're mean, doing. You, you get pretty deep in some of them. Yeah. yeah. One guy said he, he's like it's almost, Adam said uh, it's almost like therapy. <laughs> but uh, we're doing um, musicians. Have you made anyone cry yet? Actually, yes. Yeah, did you? Oh, I didn't make her cry. She kind of made herself cry because she started digging deep. And okay, then all right. Before we knew it, she, I saw her well enough. I was like, all right, we got to move on to the next topic. How about your favorite Halloween movie? My, <laughs> Let's just get away from my that. My hope uh, and goal is to make you cry uh, oh, in the well, Lincoln. No one's cried in the Lincoln yet. but uh, they're gonna, uh, the, the heat in here. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> People don't know cry. that. Are those tears? No, that's sweat, yeah, man. I know. <laughs> Grilling you. Yeah. By the way, is where Music Land started 50 years ago right here right right there right at where this car right where this parking lot is there was a little house and uh really? it's, obviously it's not there but that was the first street the first store was on bond street oh man in 1971. now i started taking lessons at the the location i believe was in uh forest hill in rock spring yeah okay. in 1985 with vince i don't i started with somebody else okay and i quit and then my dad's like you are going to learn how to play this thing and then I went back and I had Vince. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, and I had Vince for all the way through high school. Vince was not just a guitar teacher. He was like a, he was like a mentor. Right. Almost a therapist, kind of like the mob oh, was for right. some people. Right, yeah. <laughs> He's a great, great dude. And he hasn't aged. No. <laughs> like, literally, if he, if he dyed his hair, he'd be the same guy yeah, as no, I met in 1985. Has. Yeah, so no, like, he's the Dick Clark <laughs> of Music Land. 
Is, is uh, Pace over there still? Yeah, now, so the funny thing about Dave Pace was that he was a student of Vincent's. Okay. And then eventually became a teacher himself at okay. Music Land. But Dave is still there. Their 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 rooms are right next to each other. My uh, my musical life really started with Dave Pace. Okay. At the uh, the Time Machine Starship, his studio up in Jarrettsville. Right. And then we ended he did up an album with. He recorded your first album, or he did one like of your the first seven. First seven albums. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your band now, uh, Veteran Avenue, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So how long has that been going on? For? That's been going on since the summer of 2018. Okay. Basically. Um, the underground, but we love the underground, that had kind of dissolved. And then we took Schizo out for kind of a reunion run of shows and an EP. And when that kind of faded, it was like, all right, well, now what? So the idea was basically, I wanted to compile, at first, get all these people that I played with over the years in one spot. Okay. Like all the different band members, just get them in one spot. Or people that I had wanted to play with that I hadn't played with yet. And that's how it kind of evolved. And it started with one song, and now we're... We're edging up on uh, 15 songs, and it's going to be 17 for the album. You guys, so the new album is coming out. When does it come out? Well, it's going to be kind of released in EPs first. So the okay. first EP comes out 11-11, and then the second one's 12-12. Okay. And then the third one is 1-1. One, one, and I then see a pattern here. Yeah, the album is 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Oh, wow. Yeah, February 2nd, 2022. You know what we forgot was a guitar. Yes. Luckily. And we did. <laughs> luckily, I know a place. You do know a place. Yeah. If we went and get you a, a guitar, would you play something off the album? Uh, yeah, I could do that. your guitar now <laughs> <laughs> yeah man uh, this is a song called love sick and sorry got your pain i'm gonna cross you and say stay to my hand but you're living for the day sold it all for a chance to kiss your maker the devil in the sky just like your mother said love sick and sorry love sick and sorry Brad, I can't thank you enough. This is a real treat. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Congratulations on everything, and good luck with the new album. I appreciate that.